I'm going now to hand over the uh, panel to uh, my uh, colleague uh, uh, to speak about diaspora role in peace, uh, uh, security, and good uh, governance. Uh, and uh, my brother David Otto, the platform is yours now. Oh, thank you, thank you very much, um, uh, um, uh, Nadi Idris. Um, I just want to really appreciate uh, Professor Alam and the uh, WAST, you know, uh, Sustainable Development, uh, for this opportunity. Um, uh, first of all, I think you know it's important, you know, understanding, looking at the the audience that we have today. You know, we are mostly diasporans, and, and that means that you know, um, as diasporans, we we have an, a very very important role in terms of you know peace, uh, security, and good governance. And, and that role uh, involves us, you know, uh, three perspectives. One of it is you know our individual roles that you know we can play. Um, you know, the second you, the role is the, uh, the role that we can play in, in our host country, which is, you know, wherever you come from, wh wherever you are. And then another role which is very important is the role that you can play back home, wherever you come from. So I think that is a very, very important, you know, um, uh, 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 aspect of, you know, what kind of role can we play in terms of, you know, having peace, uh, security and, and, and good governance. Um, yesterday was um, the anniversary of the 7-7. And um, we, we all know that um, this was a very devastating attack that you know occurred uh, in the, in the UK. Um, we've had other uh, attacks recently, you know, with uh, Manchester attack. We've uh, had the one at Westminster, uh, London Bridge, and, and then you know the, the Finsbury attack, which was a retaliation. That gives us the uh, kind of uh, understanding that you know diasporans, you know, have you know played some role in this. You know, whether they come from uh, Afghanistan or they come from Libya or from Sudan or from Nigeria or from Cameroon you know it's important for us to understand that you know as diasporans we have come here to stay you know the first generation of diasporans you know mostly came here to study and they left and they were playing a very very passive role uh, because you know they didn't really think about you know integrating themselves within the communities but the new generation you know after the 1960s you know diasporans have become very very active and because they become very, very active, it means, you know, we also have to play a role in maintaining peace and security wherever we are. And, and this is what, you know, this is all about, you know, because, you know, we all have our respective areas of expertise. We all have our respective roles that we play. And, you know, what we are urging each and every diaspora is to be very, very proactive in ensuring that, you know, we maintain some peace and, and security in, in, in the various areas that we live in. And how can we do that? We can do that by simply understanding and trying to invite, you know, our cultures, you know, to wherever we live in. So, for example, if you come from Sudan, you have to make sure that, you know, you let the people that, you know, the areas of the communities that you live in, the Sudanese communities, to understand that, you know, although you have a culture that, you know, you maintain from Sudan, when you come to the United Kingdom, you also have to try and see how you can balance between the culture of the United Kingdom and the culture of Sudan. And I think this is very important because, you know, we always say that uh, culture eats strategy for breakfast. You know, if you do not understand the culture of a people, what would happen is no matter how good your strategy is, you know, you will never ever be able to succeed. And that is what, as diasporans, we have to take into consideration and try and help our host countries, you know, and try and help also our home countries. I mean, I spoke to a couple of individuals before now, and one of the things that, you know, people were raising is about the governance structure back home, you know, um, the kind of leaderships that we have, you know, the kind of institutions that we have. But I think it's also very important for us to understand that, you know, the position that we are in is in the position of we understand the, we've seen the good sides of, you know, the Western culture, and we also understand the side of the African culture. So we are placed in a very, very strategic position to be able to not just advise the host countries on how to deal with, you know, our communities, but also play a very active role in advising our home countries, you know, in the way of, you know, bringing up our, our communities. So I think, you know, we're talking about, you know, the role, I think it's extremely, extremely important for each and every one of us, you know, who is a member of the diaspora, to be able to look at the differentiation between different cultures and see how we can integrate with each other. Um, uh, it is essential, you know, um, to, to know that um, security is one of those things which you know, if a country is not secured, you know, if there's no security, you know, no matter what you do, you know, you cannot move forward. And, you know, security has become a very, very big issue. I mean, recently, you know, um, 
the, the, the U.S. government has placed, you know, uh, uh, some bans, you know, against certain countries, and Sudan is one of them. You know, um, Libya is one of them. Most of these countries which have been destabilized, you know, they've been placed under this um, uh, security ban, you know, this traveling ban. But I think it's important that, you know, we have to play a key role because, you know, the only way that, you know, these uh, Western countries can understand the culture of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of our people is if we are actually putting forward our case. You know, we always say it is, you know, he who writes history is he that wins, you know. So I think we need to get ourselves, you know, a lot more proactive because nobody is going to call you and say, come and give us, you know, an idea of, you know, how we can deal with your people. We have to put ourselves forward, you know, we have to put our case forward. Because if you don't put your case forward, somebody else is going to put your case forward for you. So I think it's important, especially now that we're living in a very precarious environment of insecurity, that, you know, we, we have our cases, we have our cultures, we have our backgrounds, you know, exposed you know, within our communities so that, you know, the host community would understand that, you know, we are not a threat, you know, to their civilization, but we are an important role, you know, and, but, you know, the only way you can do that is by giving a very good and deep understanding of how your cultural dynamics play. So I think, you know, this, um, this for me is just a call, a wake-up call for members of the diaspora that, you know, we, we have a role to play. You know, what, you know, our governments back home do, you know, is, is you know, yes, you know, we have uh, uh, corrupt leaders, we have incompetent leaders, you know, but I think, you know, the kind of education that we've attained, you know, within uh, the, the Western communities, if we only stay on the fence and watch what is happening, then these things will never change. You know, I think, you know, we need to be able to put ourselves in positions where we can actually affect change. And that means, you know, not just affect change back home, but affecting changes here. So I think, you know, I wouldn't really talk much on, um, I mean, my colleagues will speak about the details of, you know, talk about uh, radicalization and, and migration, which is, uh, which is a very, very key issue, uh, which is also very, very much related to, 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 to security. So I think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am really um, happy to be here today. If you have uh, any questions, you can always uh, contact me, or you can you can uh, uh, you know um, you can post them when when the uh, chairman gives uh, room for that. But uh, thank you very much. Thank you very um, much, David. Uh, and I appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you very much.